In the quiet town of Mount Vernon, Washington, Amo Grafstra has capabilities unlike anyone around. To access his storage facility, all he has to do is raise his hand. To get into his car, again, put out his hand. Grafstra has four radio frequency identification tags in his hand and arm. Many people thought that I was like working for the government with tracking devices or something. Um, you know, a lot of people were were just upset about humans being treated like cattle. Back then, it was death threat, death threat. Ooh, that's interesting, death threat, death threat. Now it's more like, ooh, that's kind of cool. What what can it do? What can I do with it? And uh, like, how much does it cost? A doctor inserted Grafstra's first tag 10 years ago, and since then, he's inserted implants into more than 700 people. He also partners with more than 100 body piercers nationwide who have implanted thousands more. Grafstra's company, Dangerous Things, sells $40 do-it-yourself kits, which include the tag, syringe, and non-toxic materials. The only problems that we've ever had is when somebody did it themselves and they put it in completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's why we partner with piercers and people who are professionals. Yeah, this guy just like rammed it straight into the muscle and that was a bad thing. But as far as like breaking or anything like that, anyone any that, that places it correctly, which is almost everybody, except for a few exceptions, and do a good job of keeping it clean during the procedure, then there's no risk of infection. And Amo isn't done with his products either. In fact, he's already installed his latest prototype. It's right here. You can see it. It's five times the length of the other devices, and it's called Yuki, which stands for You Are the Key. Yuki utilizes near-field communication to allow for one-time password generation, transferring contacts, Bitcoin payments, and downloading apps. Because the implants rely on power from the devices they communicate with, Grafster is working on a non-toxic, flexible battery, even having gone so far as to insert a small solar panel into his arm temporarily for testing. It's all part of a movement known as biohacking. It goes into the body and you forget about it. And it just does its job. It's like your kidneys are working right now really hard, but you don't think about them. They, they become so much a part of you that uh, it just you consider yourself to be a new kind of augmented person. Put this online. Grasser says he's had customers as young as 14 and as old as 65, and even installed one in his wife, which the couple affectionately calls an engagement ship. Mark New, CCTV, Mount Vernon, Washington. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.